Welcome to Flipping Clean Mama. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Larissa, and I am a stay-at-home, homeschooling mom that loves to transform vintage furniture on the side to bring in a little extra income for me and my family. I also love saving these pieces from the landfill and giving them a new life. I hope you will join me on this journey as I flip many different styles of pieces and you can learn along with me as we flip furniture together. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a very blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started with all that flipping. Here is the before the dresser. And as always, we start every flip by removing the hardware. And again today, I'm just using a screwdriver to remove it. And here's the original hardware on the top. I decided to keep this hardware and just clean it and shine it up. And I'll ask you to excuse my voice today as it is a little quiet and more scratchy as I am in quarantine currently with COVID. And here is the other piece of hardware. So after removing all the hardware, I did clean the piece with a degreasing agent and then rinsed it. It's always important to clean your pieces so your paint will adhere better. I did not video the cleaning this time. I'm going to sand the top down. I started sanding with a 120 grit and sanding pretty lightly as it is a thin veneer. It already had a couple little spots that were chipped on the veneer. But sanding it down so I can stain it. And again, I'm using my DeWalt Orbital Sander as always. So I decided to just remove this back piece and keep it off. So I'm just unscrewing it with my regular flathead screwdriver. This is the dresser that I got in trade plus money for that cedar and green dresser, MCM dresser that I did a while back. And it was a great trade in my opinion. The dresser is in excellent shape. Here I am just sanding the inside of the drawer rails, cleaning them up, 
when you get those factory pieces, they also often have that stain that sort of sloppy all over. And I just don't like the sloppy look. I'd rather everything look clean. So I am going to put some stain on those insides and just freshen it up a bit. Just wanted to thank everybody for your support. For all my new subscribers that I have lately. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And here is the top. There was that couple places where it was chipping. So I have some wood filler in that. And I'm using Min Wax's um, honey stain to stain the drawers. I sanded them all down to the veneer as well. And giving them all a fresh coat of stain. This is the first time that I've used the Melange of One paint. You know I'm a big fan of Melange, so I was excited to try this paint as well. The Melange One paint is your all-in-one paint, so it has your primer and your top coat in it. And I just thought this blue was a really pretty color blue. Have you tried Melange's One Paint yet? If so, let me know in the comments what you think of it. I've heard so many good things about it and how durable it is. I guess the only surprise for me was I thought it was quite a bit thinner than I expected. I thought it might be actually thicker than the regular Melange paint, but it almost seemed a little thinner than the regular Melange paint. But still, it has great coverage. And I'm excited to see how it holds up and use more of it in the future. <laughs>
I'm just using my Zebra Round Brush here. It's one of my preferred brushes. I love the Zebra brand. They really are affordable and great brushes to work with. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will subscribe. It really goes a long way to helping my small channel out. Also, if you have not checked me out on Facebook or Instagram, head over there and check me out at Flipping Clean Mama as well. I'd love to talk to any of you over there. up doing um, two coats of the melange one paint and then some touch-ups and here I am sanding down the wood filler that I filled the veneer with on top of the dresser after I sanded it down I did use a stainable marker on it as well to help um, camouflage it a little more and I also put another coat of the honey stained by midwax on top of of the dresser as well. And then I flipped the dresser over to sand the bottom back legs, had a couple little drips on them, and um, give them some more paint and then sand the front legs and touch them up with some stain as well so they would just look refreshed and I also did um, sand the bottom and get some more of the cobwebs off of there and uh, paint the bottom a little bit around the edges just so it looks a little more clean and crisp <laughs>
just going around the edges with a little artist brush and touching up the paint. And then here I'm clear coating or top coating all the drawers, taking a tack cloth, making sure I got all the sand dust off of them. And then today I decided to use a roller to clear coat the drawers. I used varathanes, polyurethane, and satin and rolled it on and I put two coats on each drawer. to put the hardware on like I said I used the original hardware and just cleaned them up if you want to know how I cleaned my hardware I'll link that video above and I found out on this first drawer that it needs some kind of washer or it must have had something on it previously that wasn't with the dresser as the knobs don't stick out as far as they should and stay there so I'll have to get some thing for that. And then I did not get the top top coated yet of the dresser. Um, since I have COVID right now, I just decided to get it put together for you so I can get this video out. But I will go and top coat the top of the dresser three times probably. And then there's a few more little touch ups I need to do before I'll list this piece. dresser again like I said that was in exchange for the MCM cedar dresser that I sold to a lady she gave me 150 for that dresser and then also this dresser in exchange for the full price and this dresser was in such great shape and I was so excited to do it so I was glad to have this dresser um, to do and it was fun to flip I put about um, $15 of paint into it, maybe $5 of top coat. So I would say about $20, $25 at the most of supplies into this dresser. And I haven't listed it yet because A, I'm in quarantine and I have a few touch ups to do on that. And um, I will probably list it though on Marketplace between $250 and $300. And then I'll let you know the more detailed numbers when I do sell it in the description below. Um, so hang tight for those. But I just wanted again to thank all of you for all the support on my last video, especially to all my new subscribers. I appreciate it so much. You guys helping me grow my very small channel. And I hope you'll keep on sharing and liking and commenting on my channel. And just help it grow bigger and bigger. That is such a blessing to me. I hope you guys have a blessed week and 
stay tuned as here is the reveal of the dresser. I hope you like it and let me know below. All right, here we go.